The groceries have arrived and guess what we're doing today? We are in the kitchen, gonna be making some homemade black bean burgers. Yum, I can't wait. So um, anyway, we're gonna get started. We got the groceries. Now I'm going to go ahead and get all the ingredients ready, come back to you guys so we can start blending this and making some delicious vegan black bean burgers. So let's start going through the ingredients. First, we have black beans, but you are welcome to use canned black beans. I would say do the low sodium, rinse them off, and you should be good to go. Next, we have fresh garlic, fresh minced garlic. Then we have tomato paste. Next, we have a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Now we have our Dijon mustard, the green onion, Next, we have one of my favorite um, ingredients or one of my favorite herbs. So next, we have fresh chopped cilantro. Next, we have rosemary. Next, we have some Himalayan salt. Next, we have fresh cracked black pepper. You not, guys know I love using this instead of just the regular black pepper, but you can use the regular black pepper. Well, I'm going to spice it up a little uh, for the hubby, mostly, not for me. So we have some crushed red pepper that I'm going to be putting in there. Just a few flakes, not a lot. And then I think I'm going to surprise you guys. So as our binder, because these are vegan, um, there's no egg and all those things that we normally would put in most of the black bean burgers. So we are just using oatmeal. I'm just using the quick one minute oatmeal um, and that'll be enough for the binder. Now, I told you guys it was a lot of ingredients, didn't I? So next we have corn. And last but not least, I have some pepper color. I may even throw some red in there in a minute. I'm not sure. But anyway, these are all the ingredients we need. So let's start making this burger. All right, fam. So now we have to puree all the ingredients together, get them blended well. But we're going to start with a few ingredients first. So we have the black beans here, the tomato paste the fresh garlic, and let's go ahead and add our balsamic vinegar. And we're gonna add our Dijon mustard. Okay, here we go, let's get her blended up. We want some of those beans left in there. Let me just show you here, grab a spoon. So see right here, you can see the thickness of this, but you also see beans in here, see? So you want the consistency to be kind of a little bit coarse. Here. So let's move on to our next step. Okay, fam. So now we have added our salt, our spicy um, chili flakes, and our oregano, our cilantro, and our green onions. So let me give you a look. See, look, see, look, see. And now we're going to add the oats. Okay, you guys, here's the trick. If your oats are not finely chopped, like these, you may want to pulse them a little bit in your food processor and just add the oats like I'm doing little by little. You don't really want to dump all them in. You kind of want to just get it blended guys, well. We are ready to add the corn and our peppers. I decided to liven it up, so I am going to go back and add the red pepper, not just the yellow. I like for my food to taste delicious, look good. So that's what we're working with right now. So we're just going to put it in the refrigerator for 30 to 45 minutes. We can continue to check the consistency. We want it a little firm so when we get ready to make the patty. So let's go ahead and put it in the refrigerator for a little bit. Okay fam, so I was trying to make some avocado spread for us. Um, look what happened. Okay, you guys see this? See how <laughs> the pit, it jumped right out, bounced everywhere, avocado everywhere. But anyway, we're going to just clean that up and keep it moving. I went ahead and created some avocado spread. Real simple, you guys. It's just fresh avocado, salt, pepper, little lemon juice, and a pinch of garlic, just a touch. And that's it. And we're going to spread that on the burger along with some other things when we get ready to layer it up. Okay, fam, frying up a little onion steak here to go on top of our black bean burger. Yum, yum. Well, fam, I think the mixture is molded really well. And we're ready to roll these into burger patties. So let's get started doing that. I'm just going to use an ordinary uh, measuring cup, kind of plastic measuring cup here just to scoop some out to make it easy. 
So we're gonna cook these for about um, five minutes on each side on like a medium heat. Here's the one we have in the cast iron skillet. And here's the one we have in the non-stick pan. Okay fam, those are looking so beautiful and golden brown. I can't wait to dig in. Well fam, I have got it plated. I'm so excited to share with you guys. Burger turned out delicious. So can you see it? So golden brown and pretty. Um, it does get a little dark just simply because of the ingredients. I tasted it. It's not burnt tasting, but it does get brown quick, so don't worry. So we have a layer of, can you see it? Yes, melting. So I did a slice of provolone cheese. We're gonna attempt to do dairy today. I did tomato, I did the onion steak. Oh, I forgot. I gotta add my right. avocado spread, just one minute. I'm just gonna take that avocado spread, you guys, and just kind of like wipe it on the bread like mayo, like that. We're ready to taste. Actually, I'm gonna drizzle mine, you guys, just to get a little more flavor with just a little bit of barbecue sauce. Okay, fam, here we go, we're gonna dig in. Let's see, it's so big, it's kind of hard to put in place here. Bon appetit. Mmm. You know I gotta do my little food dance. That is so tasty, fam. Really good. Burger has lots of seasoning in it. The onion steak on top. Mm, excuse me. The avocado. Just a little drizzle of that um, barbecue sauce. Really brings all this flavor together. Now I'm gonna dig into my salad, but it is delicious turned out fabulous well thank you guys so much for joining me in the kitchen as always um and trying this magnificent black bean burger it's vegan so just wanted to try that with you guys it turned out delicious but thanks for joining me today and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day okay bye bye